Hello, and welcome back to Project Luxury, the ambitious project to construct the world's longest suspension bridge between Sicily and the Italian mainland represents a monumental effort to overcome long-standing challenges and enhance connectivity within Italy. Sicily's strategic importance cannot be overstated, with its sizable population of around 5 million people and diverse economic contributions. The island's industries, including agriculture, wine production, and tourism, play a significant role in Italy's overall GDP. Despite Sicily's economic significance, its isolation from the mainland due to the absence of a direct bridge or tunnel connection has hindered its full integration into Italy's transportation network. This isolation has not only impacted Sicily's economic potential, but has also limited its access to European markets via the continent's extensive highway system. However, the proposed location of the bridge presents numerous challenges that must be overcome. The region is prone to hurricane-force winds, posing risks to the structural integrity of the bridge. Additionally, the area sits atop an active fault line, heightening concerns about seismic activity and potential disruptions to the bridge's construction and operation. Moreover, the involvement of organized crime groups, such as the Italian Mafia, adds another layer of complexity to the project, with the potential for corruption and interference. Despite these obstacles, Italy remains steadfast in its determination to proceed with the construction of the bridge. The project represents a significant investment in infrastructure that promises to unlock economic opportunities for Sicily and strengthen its ties with the mainland. However, past attempts to realize such a connection have faltered, with only an ancient bridge standing as a testament to previous efforts. The history of attempts to bridge the gap between Sicily and the mainland stretches back to ancient Rome, where Consul Metellus constructed a bridge in 252 BCE using floating barrels and wood. Despite numerous proposals over the centuries, including an international design competition in 1969 and even wild ideas like an underwater tunnel akin to the Channel Tunnel, none progressed beyond conceptual stages due to various challenges. However, in 1981, the Italian government established the Messina Strait Company to spearhead the project. After more than 30 years of planning, a detailed blueprint for the Strait of Messina Bridge emerged in 2006 signaling progress toward bridging this historical gap. The proposed Strait of Messina Bridge represents a groundbreaking engineering feat, unmatched in its scale and ambition. With a planned span of 3,300 meters, it will surpass the current record holder, Turkey's Kanakali Bridge, by a significant margin setting a new benchmark for suspension bridge construction. The bridge's supporting towers, towering at 382 meters, will eclipse iconic landmarks like the Empire State Building, establishing the structure as the tallest bridge in the world. Not only will the bridge be a marvel of engineering prowess, but it will also serve as a vital link between Sicily and the Italian mainland. Connecting Torre Faro in Sicily to Villa San Giovanni on the mainland, the bridge will span the Strait of Messina, providing a much-needed transportation solution for the region. The bridge's 60-meter-wide deck, comprised of three box girders, will accommodate both vehicular traffic and rail transport, addressing the area's long-standing transportation challenges. One of the most significant benefits of the bridge will be its impact on travel times. Anticipated to reduce the crossing time from 40 minutes to a mere 4-minute drive, the bridge will revolutionize connectivity between Sicily and the mainland. It is projected to handle up to 6,000 vehicles per hour and facilitate the passage of 200 trains per day, significantly easing congestion and enhancing mobility in the region. Constructing the bridge in this manner represents a strategic solution to a long-standing challenge that has impeded previous tunnel proposals, the formidable depths and unpredictable currents of the strait. Tales of mythical beasts like Scylla and Charybdis, spawned by the strait's treacherous waters, underscore the difficulties faced in attempting to traverse it. By opting to construct the bridge entirely above water, the project effectively circumvents these concerns, offering a practical and feasible approach to connecting Sicily and the mainland. Furthermore, the design's provision of a vertical clearance of 65 meters ensures that even large cruise ships can pass through without obstruction, enhancing the navigability of the strait and facilitating maritime traffic. This feature not only accommodates current transportation needs, but also anticipates future growth and development in the region's maritime sector. Despite the comprehensive and meticulously crafted plans dating back to 2006, construction of the bridge has remained elusive, with nearly two decades passing without tangible progress. 
Political factors have emerged as the primary impediment to the project's realization, as shifting priorities and bureaucratic hurdles have repeatedly stalled its advancement. Various reasons have been cited for the project's cancellation or postponement, ranging from concerns regarding the fault line beneath the strait to funding shortages that have consistently plagued the endeavor. The complexities inherent in navigating these challenges, compounded by the ever-changing landscape of Italian politics, have rendered the project vulnerable to delays and setbacks. The prolonged delay in constructing the Strait of Messina Bridge has become emblematic of Italy's struggles, giving rise to the saying, I'll do it when the bridge to Messina is finished, akin to the phrase, when hell freezes over. However, in a surprising turn of events in 2023, the Italian government finally approved the project after decades of planning, marking a historic moment for the country's infrastructure. Construction is slated to commence in June 2024, with an estimated cost of $12.7 billion. Despite parliamentary approval, significant challenges remain, particularly in building a bridge of unprecedented scale. The project faces its most immediate hurdle in its location, situated directly above a fault line between the African and Eurasian plates. This fault line, responsible for a devastating earthquake in 1908, poses a seismic risk to the area. To mitigate this, the bridge is designed to withstand earthquakes up to magnitude 7.5 with strategically placed towers on stable land and hourglass-shaped struts to enhance flexibility during seismic events. The considerable length of the bridge deck, exceeding 3 kilometers, enhances its ability to withstand seismic forces by allowing for gradual bending and stress distribution along its span. Another significant challenge is posed by the gale force winds funneled through the narrow strait, particularly from the south, where wind speeds can reach up to 120 kilometers. To address this, the bridge's aerodynamic deck design, featuring tapered outer girders resembling airplane wings, deflects crosswinds under the deck, mitigating their impact. This design is projected to enable the bridge to withstand winds of up to 300 kph, surpassing even the strongest hurricanes. Despite the engineering prowess demonstrated in the bridge's design, certain challenges, particularly those rooted in complex social dynamics, cannot be solely addressed through technical solutions. Another crucial aspect of the Messina Strait Bridge project is its socioeconomic impact on the regions it will connect, Sicily and Calabria. These areas have long struggled with economic disparity, with the highest poverty rates in Italy. This wealth gap has fostered the growth of powerful criminal organizations, notably the Sicilian Cosa Nostra and the Calabrian Indrangheta. These groups are notorious for infiltrating projects like the bridge through extortion and protection rackets, potentially inflating costs and posing security risks. Despite these concerns, Matteo Salvini, Italy's infrastructure minister, asserts that stringent measures will be implemented to prevent mafia interference and ensure the involvement of reputable companies in the project. However, the question remains, will the Messina Strait Bridge finally be completed this time? Share your thoughts in the comments below. For more on similar projects, check out our other videos on Project Luxury.